Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, so for today, we wanted to talk about Time Series Visual Builder, or if you are in Kibana, this is the icon that you want, um, and you will get this general view of the time series of some data that you have collected here. And the first thing that I want to show you today, um, the use case I have is I want to show you the percentage of the heap usage that a Java application is using. It's something that you might want to monitor in the first place. And I wanted to show you how you can do that in TSVP because it's one of the nicer ways to do that. There are other ways to calculate that. Um, for example, with runtime fields, you could do these calculations as well nowadays. But TSVP has a very nice and visual way to actually get to that. So I am collecting some metrics. And the first thing we will need to do is we will need to switch to the metric feed um, data. So I have collected the metrics here. And the first thing that you're seeing is the number of documents we are collecting every 10 seconds. But we're not interested in the number of documents, but we want to see the heap. So I will call this visualization here that I'm showing you, let's call it heap. And I don't want to have the count of the documents, but instead I want to show, for example, the average of the heap that we have collected. And I'm using metric beat with Jolokia. Um, so this is the data that I'm collecting here. So we have heap usage used. That sounds reasonable. Um, you can see we have the regular um, JVM pattern here for like you have garbage that is collected, being collected uh, or being yeah, accumulating. You have garbage collection uh, and then you have more garbage that is um, going up. Now we could say um, this is actually not a number, but this is bytes. Um, I switched this to bytes. Um, so you can see this is my current heap usage. But we said we wanted to see the percentage that we have in heap usage. So for that, we will need another step, which is a calculation. So one of the nice things in the UI here is that you can just click it together and add more pieces. Um, so what I want to do next is I need a, a maximum aggregation on another Jolokia field. So I want to, oops, Jolokia. Um, heap usage max, then you'll just see a flat line like this is the amount of heap that we're collecting here or that we have allocated here. And now the final step in this pipeline degradation is that I want to have a calculation. So that step is called math. And in math, I can actually do that calculation. So I will pick the average and for short, I will just call it AVG. And then I have the maximum aggregation. Those are the two ones that I have defined up here. And I just give them a variable name, basically. So I call that one max. And then I can type in a calculation here. And I'm using params.average divided by params.max, which should be the percentage. Now my calculation changes. You can see this is what we have running here. But this is not bytes now. Um, instead, this one here, we need to switch over to percentage. So I switch it over to percent. And you can see this is the number of percentage of the heap that we're using here. Now, maybe we don't need three digits after the comma because that's just an overkill here. So what we could do is we could also switch this one to custom and then the, have numeral GS format that you can use to actually um, format that. But I'll just use zero point um, for one position after the dot and then percentage. So now you can see the, the calculation that I have is 8 to 10% of heap usage in my application. Now, what I can also do is let me stop my application and um, restart it or redeploy my application. And one thing that can be very nice is that you want to show these um, deployments so you know who or what broke, for example, or changed the heap usage that you have in your app. For that, we have that annotations tab here, and I can add a data source. What I do every time I run this deployment is that I'm adding a document to an index that I've just named events. Um, what I throw in there is it shows me that when the who, that's me, um, deployed from where, what kind of deployment. So this was the deployment that we just ran. So the fields that I maybe want to show is user, host, and application. So what we can annotate here now is I am saying user host application are the fields that I want to show here. And then I can say user deployed application 
on post. And then, if I have done everything correctly, um, and you need to pick that events index, otherwise it won't show anything, of course. Um, we see this was when I just deployed my application, my version one. Now I have redeployed it with version two, and now we have a much higher heap usage. Um, I cheated slightly here by changing the, the available heap. So I moved it or changed the heap size from 256 uh, megs to 64 megabytes of heap. And that's why the, the heap usage is much larger and you will keep seeing it grow here. You can also just may turn or have the same visualization and just see the, see the current value, so 9.5, um, or actually you would need to change that one here to say that this is just uh, the current value. Um, it's actually this panel option here, not the entire range, but for this one, I just want to show the last value. So this will change. You can see this is how much heap we're using right now. You could also, if you have multiple hosts, for example, or multiple applications, you could show them by top heap usage to see where you start debugging first. Um, you can also see that as a gauge in terms of a representation of how much of your heap you're actually using. Markdown and table do not really apply for this one so much, but for today, we're almost out of time. I just wanted to switch back to the original visualization where you can see now that we have redeployed my application. And as you see, Philip deployed version two of the application and it's using a lot more heat. And now you know who to go to to complain that they maybe broke something or changed something. So the combination of annotations and having all of these different pipeline steps to make a calculation give you very powerful options to show you some data. The main limitation here is that TSVB can only work on time series. So anything with a timestamp field, you can use and visualize here, but it does need to have a timestamp field. You could also break it down by application or host or whatever you have. Um, though I don't didn't set this up as a distributed application um, right now. So we will just stick to one, but you could have multiple um, applications and see their heap usage in parallel. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow at the same time with another interesting Kibana topic. Bye.